calling about the $9.95 a month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that $9.95 plan today. Is it time for you to call about the $9.95 plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. The 995 plan is Colonial Pen's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. Call 1-800-523-9696 for free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-523-9696. Live with the aftermath. questions about the safety of deep water exploration. Plus, it's the first full weekend of summer. Will it be hot? We've got your first solar forecast so you can plan. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Annabelle Sedano and we begin at three with several cars smashed up after an intense rollover accident. This happened on Magnolia Avenue in Anaheim. NBC4's Christian Caceres is there live with the headache neighbors are now dealing with. Christian. Annabelle, that's right. Good afternoon to you. Several neighbors tell me that they have a major headache from what happened out here overnight. And of course, we're talking about repairs and costs from this situation. Now, I can tell you that most of the cars that were parked along this street here have been towed away, but we do have one of them here. And I just want to show you some of the damage uh, left from this incident. Now, the owner of this vehicle tell me that all of the uh, back portion of this vehicle is not working anymore. Now, you can still see some of the debris here onto the street from this rollover. Now, police telling us that a Jaguar SUV drove by and somehow ended up on its side. Now, we've learned that the driver has been identified as 36-year-old Michael Bryan from Long Beach. Now, take a look here at this video. Now, this was the scene just after midnight on Friday when Anaheim police responded to a car accident on Magnolia Avenue near Greenleaf. Now, the area was shut down as police began their investigation. Now, police say Brian was driving this Jaguar SUV, but when officers arrived, he had fled. A short time after, he was located nearby and arrested for DUI. Now, in the video, you can see the amount of damage to three parked cars. Uh, Harold Casanova lives along Magnolia and owns one of those SUVs. He tells us about that loud boom that woke him up last night. And I heard this loud boom, and I heard like a scraping noise. And when I looked out the window, I thought he hit my car, and all I saw fire above my roof. Police say that they are reviewing. We know that, again, a total of four cars were involved in this crash, including that flipped vehicle. Now, coming up at uh, 5 o'clock, uh, hear from some of the neighbors, including one who owned one of these vehicles. He tells us that the loss was major for his family because he not only lost one, but two, a brand new car that he had just gotten his wife. So we have more on his reaction coming up in later editions of NBC4. We are live. Christian Casares, NBC4 News. And Christian, I'm noticing that some of those cars are going by really quickly out there. Let's slow it down out there. Now to the tragedy at the bottom of the North Atlantic. For the first time today, we're hearing from family members of the five men on board a submersible that went missing nearly a week ago as it began an expedition to the ruins of the Titanic. The Coast Guard confirming late yesterday the group did not survive. Teams are now trying to figure out what may have led to what they describe as a catastrophic implosion. The Coast Guard is leading the investigation from their base in Boston, and that's where Jay Gray is with a closer look. The search in this remote area of the North Atlantic shifting now. Teams no longer looking for a missing submersible and five men inside, but instead answers to how and why they were lost. It is a uh, complex uh, case to work through, but I, I, I'm confident that uh, uh, those questions will uh, begin to get answered. 
Remotely operated vehicles continue to scan debris less than a half mile from the bow of the Titanic. Pieces of the sub that investigators say indicate a sudden leak in the pressurized capsule leading.